It all started about seven years ago. That's when Melissa Watkins, sixth grade class at Harvey Junior High School, began a pen pals relationship with a class of students from Uganda, Africa. In 2012, that relationship turned into something more. Christmas Eve, I got a personal letter from the teacher just wishing me a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, um, hoping that my holiday break was going well, and then also to tell me of some bad news that they had, that the one and only restroom for their school of 650 kids had collapsed in a flood from Lake Victoria. Her students at Harvey felt they could help. I was told by a sixth grader that I needed to email the teacher and I needed to find out exactly what it was going to cost to build the restroom. I was like, how are we going to do that? You know, his name was Jeffrey. I was like, Jeffrey, we, how are we going to do that? We live here, they live there. And he says, my dad's a contractor. He says, they can give you an itemized list of how much everything is going to cost and how much labor is going to cost. And that's what our goal needs to be. I emailed her and she sent me that list and that was our goal. With plenty of fundraisers, the goal was reached and they were able to assist the Ugandan school. Last year, that school had their water well quit giving water, and Harvey students stepped up again to give a helping hand. It's overwhelming. It, it really is. I never, ever imagined when I started teaching sixth grade social studies and we were going to write letters to kids in other countries that this is what it was going to become. They're 11 and 12, and they just push and push and push me places that I don't necessarily want to go. I'm just trying to teach my class, and they want to make sure that it happens. And so I'm proud to to say that I've done that for them and I've helped instill this sense of empathy in an 11 and 12 year old kid that normally doesn't have that kind of empathy. Now Melissa will be taking her first trip to Uganda during spring break 2019. She'll be bringing much needed hygiene supplies including hundreds of toothbrushes, many of them the first ones the Uganda students have ever had. It's a very different experience to get there and, and go for the first time and go see the restroom that we've built, go see the garden um, plot of land that we have paid for so that they can grow fruits and vegetables for the kids for their meals at the school, go see and actually use the, um, the pump and the well and see how difficult it actually is to get the water up from the ground. She'll be in Uganda for a week and will get the chance to teach those students. I want to teach them deep in the heart of Texas because I think that will be really cool and kind of easy for them. They only got to really remember one line. <laughs> Melissa is going to share her spring break experience with her students and as a sixth grade social studies department, they're going to use her trip as an intro to sub-Saharan Africa. We've written to a lot of countries and Uganda has just been the one steadily every year. It's We know each other's school schedules now and so when it's getting to mid-July, beginning of August, she'll email me and say, you know, once you find out how many kids you have let me know and we'll get this set up and get the email started and um, now that she's retired the principal has taken over that job and I, I think everybody's very eager to keep this going.